Pompeii 3D Short Moon Review. With a plot that's basically lifted directly from Titanic, just with much less of our emotion, you know, state on it. This has a gladiator falling in love with the soon-to-be wife of a senator, and at the very end, Mount Vesuvius erupts. This is standard fare from Paul W. Sanderson. The man does not really know, excuse me, how to make movies. Like, everything is just slightly off from from how it should be. The, the pacing, the, yeah, the, the various setups. The, the one thing that you really can say in favor of this film is that the production values aren't great. And certainly, the, the CGI and, yeah, these, the, the eruption itself look fantastic. And there are several very nicely done images that, more or less, all that's going to stick with you after watching a movie, of the, basically, shots from above the volcano as it is starting to erupt, where, for example, an ash cloud, you know, grows towards the camera, and, you know, things like this. And definitely, if you do watch this, watch them 3D, because they really do a lot with that, and not too much in the gimmicky way. They only, a couple of times, throw stuff directly at the camera. It's more that there is a real depth to everything, and I mean, Emily Brown looks stunning in, you know, shots that, I mean, you fall in love with her, practically. And the... They, they do nice little things that make you feel like you're there, like ash particles in, in the air and such. You, you really feel like you could just reach out and touch them. They, they pull you much more into the movie. But yeah, the, we, we don't, our heart isn't really in it, and because of that, even when the action is better than just okay, which on occasion it gets pretty reasonable looking, we don't care that much, and the there's, there's either too much setup with no payoff, or no setup with, you know, a lot of payoff, and... Yeah, just overall, we don't really, we're not given much reason to care. The the romance between Jon Snow and Emily Browning is just not there. We, we don't for a second believe that they really are in love. And the, yeah, just in general, there's no real gripping character moments in this. There's a little bit of a bromance going on between Jon Snow and Atticus, played by Echo of Lost, who keep threatening that they're gonna kill the other, and... yeah. But, but, yeah, it's... It's, it's big and dumb and loud, but not actually fun. If you like this review and want more detailed one, the link will be in the description box.